midweek, mid-afternoon. I have a lull in work. I've had a busy week so far. Yesterday I was doing some alterations work. The couple that I do the cleaning for. She has lots and lots of trousers that don't fit because she's quite short. So she gave me six pairs of trousers to alter, which is income. So they're done. Taking those back tomorrow when I go do the cleaning. I've been editing YouTube all morning. Completed and uploaded two new videos, one for this channel, one for my business channel. I've kind of run out of stuff to do. vintage sale this morning so I'm taking myself out for a walk because I haven't been out for a couple of days and I'm going to send this little parcel out this evening because I have a clean for. So here it is. And uh, see what we can get this evening. I've been avoiding the bakery aisle. Because <sighs> I said I was trying to eat less crap failing because I still have snacks at home and inevitably I sniff them out and I eat them but once those have gone there won't be anything left that's the plan anyway right vintage is done and I am taking myself on the long walk home which is something I do a lot more of when the weather gets nicer it just gets me and gets me moving about gets my steps in and just as I start to do the walk it starts to rain <sighs> hmm is this going to be bad rain or good rain I feel like this is going to be proper wet rain. Oh, who cares? I'm not going to melt, am I? I get walking. It's going to be on busy main roads though, which isn't helpful. Let's see how we get on. Don't bring a brolly or a hat today. Nice to be out just wandering around though, I like that. I like it better when I'm exploring new places. And I'm looking forward to getting out and doing more of that as the weather improves. I keep watching the weather, looking for a good day to go out and take you on a proper ramble, but the weather keeps telling me every day's a bad rain day. So, I'm just going to have to be patient, I think. I always feel guilty if I stay in and do nothing. It doesn't happen very often because, to some extent, I am usually 
doing something work related. It's either I'm recording stuff for YouTube, I'm editing for YouTube, I'm doing surveys, applying for market research, which is a good payer for a short amount of work if you can get it. I've been applying for lots of market research this year, but um, it's really hard to get accepted. Keep plugging away. So I'm always busy, but it's often like little bits of work here and there. There's always something going on. It's just a case of keeping at it. I'm probably just as busy as anyone working in an office who gets distracted by unnecessary telephone calls. Chats at the water cooler. I mean, the places that I clean for, I think most of the time they're snacking. The amount of processed junk food in those offices is quite worrying, actually. I've never seen so many packets of cakes and crisps and chocolates. My word. And this is another reason why I didn't like working in offices. Because the amount of junk food that came through. The number of pizza boxes I throw away. And donut boxes. My God. Worse than working from home. Anyway, the weather is deteriorating rapidly. getting some exercise. <laughs> I've been getting into the habit of doing my dinner between four and five instead of five and six. So by the time I get home from here, I'm only going to have about an hour and a half before dinner. And then about half five, six o'clock, I'll go over to Morrison's and then I'll do my evening clean. Probably back home about half seven. So it will felt like a productive day. Lots of building going on around here. New housing estates. They've been building this one for uh, four years now. They started it just before the COVID lockdowns and they're still at it. My hand's getting cold, so I'm gonna put you away pick you up again another time. Bazzy bye. Another Tuesday clean complete. Went into Morrison's. No vegetables again. We are another vegetable free zone. Today I spent £2.89. What did we get? Cravendale milk. Not what I normally buy. Was £1.25. This is 25p. I'm guessing there's a couple of pints in there, so that'll do nicely. Uh, a magic bag. 
assorted meats. God knows what that means. Was two pound fifty, now sixty three p. Um, it just says assorted cooked meat pieces. I'm willing to give anything a go. Uh, we have some cheese. What is this? Butler's something blue was two pounds thirteen, now fifty four p. Very nice. Uh, pork pies. Not doing very well on this not snacking thing, am I? Were well, one pound eighty, now forty five p. They're Morrison's Deli cheese and pickle, but they're the mini ones. Forty five p. Big tub of coleslaw. I love coleslaw. This was one sixty five, forty two p. This lasts quite a while in the fridge actually, so I can use this on various things. Savers natural yogurt. Uh, was 35p, now 6p, and there was another one, which was randomly 9p. So that's all good. And last but not least, oh dear, I didn't go to the bakery counter, but these were elsewhere. Um, white chocolate cookies, the big ones, the five packs, these were 180 down to 45p. See, if I hadn't seen those on that other shelf where they shouldn't have been, I would never have picked those up. I can't even remember where these were now. They're in a really strange place. And I just thought, do you know what? I'm having that. Um, so, yeah, I will put another thing up here, as I normally do, which tells you what the price would have been and also um, how much I've saved on that. I still have some vegetables in the fridge. I've still got a bag of kale. I've still got some green beans. I've still got some veg in the freezer as well, so we're always balancing things out. So hopefully the next time I go to Morrison's, which will be on Sunday, there will be some veg. We go through phases where there's no veg and no veg and no veg and no veg, and then suddenly there's tons and tons of veg and you don't know where to look. So hopefully that will happen because I need my vegetables, that's for sure. Um, and that's it for Tuesday evening. Um, yeah, that's it. That's it. End of Tuesday. Catch you later. Yes, it is rain. Got a lot worse after I got home. I got back just in time. And I don't think it's stopped since. It's tipping it down. Wednesday morning. Off for a clean. This morning. This morning, <laughs> I found a tiny spider on my bed. It's one of those little zebra spiders, those jumping spiders. And it's been living on my bedroom windowsill for, I think it was last year, it might have been the year before, living in the pot plants. And the last couple of mornings when I've woken up, I've seen it walking around on my ceiling. <laughs> And this morning it was on my bed, so I popped it back into the pot plants. And I've noticed that all the flies are appearing, the plants are getting a bit more bouncy. The, um, the broad beans which I planted, which I didn't think were going to survive, I lost a couple. But the others seem to have suddenly started sprouting extra leaves and extra shoots so I think some of them might survive if we can just get through till let's say the middle of March and they seem quite happy on the windowsill now that the um, the daylight hours are drawing out um, I think they might be all right the peas surprise surprise didn't survive I've planted what have I planted I've planted the first of my tomatoes which are some um, cherry varieties which I've been planting for the last couple of years. They didn't do well last year, they died in the heat last year um, when I was away, but I'm going to give them a go again this year. So I've planted those and I've planted a load of sweet peas. Every year I collect sweet pea pods from my parents' garden and then use those to grow next year's. So. I'm, I've planted up for me and for mum and I've planted those now so that I can take them down in um, 
people when they go down next and then they can plant those on. Oh, look at this weather. I'm going to have to put fans on and all sorts. I'm just going to have to bear with the noise. Anyway, that was really my story. Um, I have a jumping spider and all the bugs are appearing. I get those little soil mites, you know, the little tiny black flies. So I'm hoping that the spiders will eat those. The Venus flytrap, which has suddenly sprouted a whole bunch of new leaves and traps and didn't die off at all during the winter. Um, it might catch them, but it likes bigger flies and it's useless at catching its own flies. I have to catch them for it. And when I go and do the cleaning at the business, they have loads of flies because their building is really hot, big windows, lots of plants. So towards the end of last year, I was catching flies that were stuck in, in, in the building and were starting to die. So they were catchable, but they were still alive and I was taking them home and feeding them to the Venus flytrap. So it's had several big fat flies since I've had it. It's supposed to eat quite regularly by the looks of it. And I don't think it's going to catch anything for itself. So, and it needs flies apparently, although it'll, it'll live on water and it has soil, it needs flies. So I'm going to have to find ways to get flies. <laughs> Just like having a pet, it's like, oh, it's supposed to look after itself, it's a bloody plant. Anyway, so off I go into the rain. God, it's so wet. And I'm gonna get on with cleaning, taking back the trousers for the lady that I did all the alterations for. are going so fast. I hate it. I hate it and I like it because it gets going fast which means we're going to be in nicer weather really soon. I've almost stopped using my hot water bottle and my sushi hoodie generally only comes out in the evening now. The differences in the temperatures are just crazy. I know there has been a threat of another cold snap in March, but they said that about February and nothing happened, so we'll see. But it definitely feels like we are almost at spring. So I feel, I feel more relaxed, I feel more calm. I'm not fighting cold temperatures every day really nice. I generally feel a lot more comfortable. I've had my kitchen and my bathroom windows um, on the vent setting for over a week now and I just leave them on vent because it's lovely. It's lovely so that there's a bit of fresh air getting into the flat regularly and um, yeah that's how I know the weather's changing when I can get the windows back on vent. I do like a bit of fresh air. Petrol prices are starting to climb. 140 here. It was 138 last week. And I think a week or so before that it was 134. So I feel like I probably should fill up soon. I've still got half a tank left over from coming home in the new year. I don't use a lot of petrol now, my car's really economic anyway. But if the prices are climbing, I'd rather fill up now, ready for when I go away in about six weeks or so. I'll probably do that hmm, maybe next week. We'll see how we get on. I'm rambling today, I'm not really with it. In the last few nights I've slept, almost slept right through, which is unusual for me. I've been trying to stop drinking anything earlier in the evening, 
because I'm always getting up in the night two, three or sometimes four times because that's just the way I am, it's the way I've always been and they reckon if you stop drinking two hours before you go to bed you won't wake up which is rubbish because I, I do that and it doesn't work um, I'm trying to push it out to say three hours but I also don't want to be dehydrated so I don't know why I've been sleeping so long oh dear Tired. Oh, I put the fan on the car and it's nice and warm, and that's making me sleepy. Because it's nice to be extra warm. Thank <laughs> you. 